So after what we felt like no time at all, season four is finally here. And although Epic is just really good at adding either really fun or really boring updates, sometimes you just need to find something else to do to entertain yourself. What's going on guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. Like literally, I'm here to motivate you. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Positivity is the name of the game and positivity is what we live by each and every day. No matter what's ahead of you, no matter what negativity comes your way, I don't care if you've been on a losing streak, I don't care if you're demotivated today, I wanna let you know, man, that things are going to get better. So if you know that, be encouraged to smile right now. Be encouraged to be happy right now, to have great energy right now, and spread love everywhere you go. That's what we do, Bunch of Crunch Army. We're here to change the world. Let's go. So I've got nine different ways that you can cure your boredom in Fortnite. This video is like well overdue. Some of these are just purely for fun, while others are going to double as a way to improve as well. So all you comp grinders, don't go anywhere, all right? You might find a new practice method that you actually will end up enjoying. All right, so for our question of the day, what is your favorite thing to do in Fortnite when you're bored? Let me know down below. And before we start, just know that Pro Guys has added a new VOD review feature where you can upload your gameplay and get a personalized analysis from one of our pro coaches. Check it out in the description. All right, guys, without further ado, bunch of crunch army, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. Who's can say this the loudest? Here we go. It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. All right, so first up are loadout challenges. Like, if you're like me, <laughs> sometimes Battle Royale can get a bit boring. So anytime I feel that way, I usually just do a loadout challenge. And there are a few ways that you can do them, like the one chest challenge. In it, you can only open one chest per game. If you eliminate someone, you can get their mats, ammo, and healing items, but you can't take their weapons. So no matter if it's a pistol or a sniper, that's it. Really, it's the ultimate challenge. Though another way is the random skin challenge. Basically, set your skin to random, and whatever rarity skin you get, that's the only weapon rarity that you can use. Heals and other items are still allowed, but weapons have to be the rarity of your skin. This one is really not that hard, but it's still fun. So there are a bunch more too that you can do pistols only, snipers, or even get crazy and just try to win with no shotgun. Whatever really, like just to open you up to new experiences and just really like mess around, man, have some fun, either solo or with a friend. And speaking of with the friend, all right, if you got a buddy, another thing that you can do is kill race. For the unaware, all right, kill races are where you compete against your friends to try to get the most kills, like those Friday Fortnite competitions like way back in the day. If you've got one friend with you, you can party up, queue duos, and then just try to get the most kills. To reduce bad luck, all right, play like a best of three. And if you have a lot of friends and you wanna do 2v2s, then you can scale it up in squads. And also, there are a ton of small variations that you can add to make things even more exciting. For example, no mythic weapons allowed or other weapon restrictions. Maybe even banning specific landing spots. Who knows? <laughs> no matter what, kill races are a blast as long as you don't take it too seriously, all right? Just try to have fun, loosen up, frag out, and just use it as an opportunity to improve. That's what we do. Kill races might be too tough for some, so if that's the case, you can always hop into a head-to-head -head training course. These maps have their own little competitions that you can play with your friends, not just fun competitions, but ones that you're actually gonna be improving a ton. So far, our favorite of this kind is Tito's 1v1A map. It has box fights, realistic 1v1s, aim duels, tracking fights, jump shots, and a few more. So there's always something that you can do and each one has you getting better at the game. But another one that we really enjoy is Raider 464's Edit Race version three. This one's got five different difficulty levels, but the idea is the same with all of them. Be as quick as you can and race your friend to the finish line. And just like the last one that has you improving your aim, this one turns you into an editing monster. Try these out and let us know if you like them. All right, another fantastic go-to for when you're just bored is creative matchmaking. Epic's always updating the creative matchmaking with new maps or even just to throw in some classics. And probably our favorite, Zone Wars. I don't think like I've ever gotten bored with Zone Wars. It throws you right into an end game, which for me obviously is the most intense part of Fortnite. And the best thing about it is that you don't need anyone else. 
You could just go up, match make, and just find a game. All right, quick reminder before we move on, Pro Guides has the best on-demand pro coaching available to help you get way better at the game. So check it out in the description below. Moving on, my friends, the next thing that you can do when bored is learn new landing spots. All right, if you play competitive, you probably land at the same few job spots every single game. That's definitely the play, but sometimes it's boring. Come on now, admit it. <laughs> what you could do is just pick some landing spots that you usually never go to and just try them out. I say give it at least 10 drops for each major spot you normally never go to. The new experiences will be a lot more stimulating, right? And by the 10th drop, you'll gain a much better understanding of how to land, how to loot, and find players in each of those zones. And who knows, you might find a spot that you absolutely love and you want to make this your new spot. Trying is really the only way really to find out, right? So definitely give it a go and treat it as a learning experience. If any of you are madmen looking for a challenge, then giving solo squads a shot might be what fixes your boredom. All right, solo squads definitely fell out of style a while ago, but ever since Epic reduced the skill-based matchmaking a season ago, it got a lot more tolerable. It's still a challenge for sure, but you're not always gonna run into your four sweats that just run you over. And easily, the best part of solo squads is how it teaches you to deal with high pressure scenarios, right? You don't win every game, but at least you learn the right ways to deal with multiple players spraying P90s at you. Back in the day, that's how a lot of great players improved at Fortnite. And really, other than the average player getting a lot better, nothing's really changed. It's still great practice, not the best, but something that you can play. So, you know, you don't have to take it that seriously. Just have fun with it. Okay, so that's enough of the sweatiness for now. Let's move into things that are just for fun, all right? First one being escape rooms. I don't know if you've ever come off from like a rough night of arena or whatever, but you know what you can do like to switch it up to a more relaxed mindset is load up an escape room. And a classic that, you know, I just have to recommend is Escape Zombie City by Prudis. This one has you go through a city-like maze that has you solving puzzles, doing parkour, killing tricky AI, and a lot more. Plus, apparently there are secrets too, but I wasn't able to find any. <laughs> Another one that you can try is Cruise Ship Escape by Wishbone45. It's similar to the last one, just a bit longer and with a more tropical theme. Honestly, escape rooms are a ton of fun, kind of puzzling at times, but you know, it's still pretty rewarding once you finish. But this next creative game mode is way more rewarding to finish, and that's if you can just even complete them. <laughs> I'm talking about Death Runs. All right, I'm sure you've seen the crazy ones by Scissors before. Those are classics, and if you haven't played them just yet, definitely look up the codes and just try them out. But fair warning, my friends, those are extremely tough. So if you'd rather just relax and not go crazy at how one man can make such evil creations, <laughs> there are more straightforward death runs out there, all right? Our fave is Ken Worth's super easy death run. It starts off really simple. It gets a bit more challenging, but there's really nothing in it that'll make you want to pull your hair out. I don't really have hair, so I guess I'm good anyway. Anyways, still, <laughs> it's long enough to provide a decent enough challenge and, you know, really fix your boredom. Lastly, something that I feel like some of us might have not done yet is fully explore Party Royale. All right, a lot of people dismiss this mode as the place where you only go for the virtual Diplo concerts, but there's actually a ton that you can do here. There are boats with radios you could use to vibe, you know, or just have listening parties. The change of boots let you swap outfits on the fly to get a better idea of how they look in game. You can fish as much as you want. And inside the vending machines are fun weapons like paintball launchers and grapplers that you can just mess around with. You know, that's plenty, but even with all of that, my favorite is the time trials. Located all over the map, each one gives a rank, and I know I've definitely spent some time here trying to get S ranks on every one. Even if you're exclusively a comp player, I think there's a lot of stuff that you can do in Party Royale just to wind down, man, just to relax and really just entertain yourself. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. I'm here to motivate you, man. Connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. Those were nine different things that you can do if you're bored in Fortnite. Hopefully you found at least one that really like, you know, that you like. <laughs> so let me know in the comments which you like the most and make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And remember, at 1 million subs, man, we're going to be releasing my story of how I became the motivation guy. 
It's really going to inspire you, man. So make sure you sub. Spread the word to all your friends because we got some great stuff going down. And don't forget about the new VOD review feature on ProGuides.com. And keep eating that. Bunch of crunch. And let's get this going.